Oh, main scare garage. Will this fit in that hole? Well, when I'm done, stand by. First thing we gotta do is make a bezel. And how we're gonna make the bezel is this. We're gonna use this, this, and this. Between the three of these, we're gonna make one bezel, and it's gonna look, when the install done, it should look like the stereo came installed with the truck from Ford. They make a kit that you can get that goes on here but it looks like aftermarket i don't want anything looking like aftermarket i want it to look like it came forward this way so we're going to do a custom install now let's see if we can't get this uh carpet out of the way i love this carpet i have no intention of getting rid of it we're going to have to take this off and obviously fix it we're going to do a fiberglass to show you how when we get to it that's later right now i just want to work on this bezel bezel i saw um in a couple of shots it looks like this and what they did was they made it out of three of these so what we do is this is going to be the bottom of the stereo right here all right let's see before we go any further we might as well pull this off because this is going to have to be modified as well And what we'll do with this is it's going to have to be cut in half, a section taken out. We're going to shorten it up. We'll fiberglass it back together, sand it down, repaint it, and it'll look like it belongs there. But for now, we just want it out. We're going to use one of these just for the sides. And they're going to go on there something like that. And the other one is going to collect on the top of it, and it's going to go just like that. And that's going to give us our double din. All right, so to start everything off, what I want to do is uh, cut these up. Get a hacksaw. This seems to be the closest thing to a hacksaw I have. Wonderful. All right, let's see. I'm going to cut the bottom off the gray one first. And we'll try to cut this as straight as I possibly can with this bent up Poor excuse for a hacksaw. You know me, I would use power tools, but it being plastic, it would just melt. I know somewhere in that house I got a hacksaw. Take two. Hacksaw. Now I should be able to cut this side right where I want it. Let's see. There we go. And I didn't chop myself like I did with that piece of crap. Anyway. All right, so that's cut. This is going to be used to go right here. Yeah, I know I cut this side wrong. I went off. See if we can't straighten it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the bottom of this one off. I'm going to leave the top like it is. When we're ready to put it together, we need to work on cutting the legs off of that, but we need to make sure that it's exactly the way it should be. Yeah, here goes nothing. Let's cut this one up too. If I were to use a Dremel or something like that on this, it would just melt this plastic. And we don't want to do that. All right, let's see if we can get the other side the same. All right, that one's off. This is gonna make the top. This is the piece that's gonna go right here. I'm thinking right about there. I have to cut into here so it'll fit in here. We'll get to that. Okay, got a Dremel. Got a saw blade on it. I 
what I need to do though is keep it lowish to cut this lip off here because I don't want to melt the plastic. So, what we got? I know, I know. You hear everybody say it and you get tired of hearing it, but yeah, safety first. I need my eyeballs. I know what to do with my damn piece. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'll turn this sucker back on. And y'all, y'all know the deal. I'm gonna do one of two things. I'm gonna make something really cool, or I'm gonna destroy a dashboard. One of the two. <laughs> I'm gonna take a block of wood and some eighty. I'm gonna just sand it down flat. I got the top of that flat down. <sighs> Pretty good now. Just put the block here and. That's it, just like that. You need to flock again. All right, so this is gonna go on here, just like that. Huh? And we'll use that block here. All right, we got some super glue. Got to open it first. Before I fiberglass anything, I'm going to put it together. Make sure it's going to work. Put that piece right on there. I have a feeling I'm going to have to do a little bit of rigging. Yeah. This one here. This is far from perfect. But I think what I need to do is get a basic shape of a fiberglass and then we can work on it there. We can add to it and take away from it. That's a basic fit. I think what I need to do is fiberglass this before I try to glue it up to the rest of it. Maybe. This is what we'll have. That's basic. But I don't think it'll fit the radio. I think I have to extend it. Yep. I need to extend that a little bit and then we'll fiberglass it together. Okay, what we can do to extend it? That's the question. Thinking I can use this plastic here to do just that. Oh yeah. Yep, 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 yep. See what I'm doing. See what I'm doing. That's our basic bezel. Just like that. Fits near perfect. Yeah, it is. All right. This has got to be fiberglass now. To make it solid one piece. And it's going to go right here. Radio's going to go right in the middle. Huh. I think it's going to work out perfect. See, after we fiberglass it, that's for sure. I gotta sand this down. I need to be able to get the fiber, fiberglass has to stick to it. But it just needs a little roughing up. Just want to be careful not to break it apart now that's the way I want it. I'm sanding, but I don't think I'm gonna need any fiberglass on the bottom, just on the top. Okay, fiberglass. I hate fiberglass. It always makes a mess. It's over this way a little bit. Yeah, it is. I may have to break this apart and put it back together. Uh, I really didn't want to do this. Ah, damn it. We're going the wrong end on that one. I gotta re-glue this. Yeah, surprise, surprise. 
Okay, as usual, I'm having trouble with sound. I did the first coat of fiberglass here. This was, this broke apart. So now it's getting dried up on the fiberglass. Once that fiberglass dried, then it'll be, it's not gonna break apart. And what I did was uh, fiberglass resin right here. This is Bondo, whatever, fiberglass. And this is hardener and this is an old, this is one of the cups I used to mix my paint last week. And uh, I just used it to mix it up. It was one ounce to 10 drops. I put two ounces in. So that was 20 drops. All right, this is mostly dry. It's enough dry enough I can cut it now. I want to cut all this excess off of here that I've caused. And at that, we've got our basic bezel. Obviously not done, but let's see. And our head unit fits in there just like I want it to. Yep. All right. Of course, we got to put some more in here. See, now this was broke, but now it's not going to break anymore because it's fiberglass. All right. Lots of sanding, block sanding later. And, uh, this is my basic bezel. Now, I need to go back after it again, and we're gonna use body filler just to, so we can smooth the whole thing out. But, whew, man, a lot of sanding, block sanding, so that everything's flat, like this isn't. <laughs> I still have to sand some more. But the next step will be body filler. Here's the backside. All right. Mix up a little Bondo here. <laughs> that is all goopy. Hopefully this will still be good. We're running out of there. I don't know if that partner is going to work or not. Do not know. Fold it all in there. Looks like I might need to put some more. It's not really turning pink. Yep, let's just put some more since this stuff is probably... Not in very good shape. All right, now. All right, we just need, I just want a thin coat, a skim coat on here. Some places are gonna need a little more, but most of it's just gonna be skim coat. Okay, after several coats of body, putty and sanding, lots and lots of sanding. As you notice, the sun's going down, getting dark. I still gotta do some more sanding. Uh, hours and hours. There's the bezel. Your patrols go here, radio goes here. We'll be back on this tomorrow and maybe get this radio installed. Now I got it all done. There it is, all primed out and stuff. What I'm gonna do is put a uh, truck bed liner on it. That's gonna give it texture. Now eventually I'm actually gonna cover this with vinyl and I'm gonna um, Cover the dash with vinyl also, padded vinyl, it'll look really nice. But right now, I just want to have it done so I can put it in. If you remember from that other video, the best way to get that radio out is to get back up in there and push it. Which means I got all this junk. All right, so now I can drop this. Get my hand up in there. Um, I think I can get my hand up in there. Yeah, there we go. Ah, damn it, didn't want to break that. I just want to get the dang radio out. On you. I remember having to coax it. Yep. Ah. Ah, dang it. Damn radio out of there. The whole cage can come. It's okay with me. There. Gotcha. Now. Alright, let's see. Get the 
cables. Come on, cables. Okay. <laughs> Gotta unhook the antenna. And I should be able to get all these cables back out of here like I had them out before. Just like that. There we go. Now, all right, I'm gonna unplug this. Unplug this. I'm gonna use. Ah, dang it. Where are you? All right. Plug these. There. Where's that wire going? Where's that wire going? Oh, okay. That's the. Okay, that one's smart. I wired it to this side, I should have wired it to the other side. So I gotta cut that and rewire it. That's the turn on for the um for the subwoofer. Alright, so let's just get rid of that there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wire it that way because the truck didn't come with a subwoofer or a turn on port. So these won't have it to plug into. So it's alright. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, a plug on it so I can plug it and unplug it although you can do it with the uh um you know with the where it plugs into here but whatever all right just mutilated this but we got it out all right and that's toast now what i'm going to do i'm going to use these harnesses to connect my new one up i tried to cover up that run but wasn't able to so uh this has to dry completely before I can sand the top. And then we'll give it another coat. Then it'll be fine. Right now it's a little sticky. But that's where we're going to go with it right here. It's going to go there. Stay. What I can do is once I get that there, I can do some measuring and cutting. This goes over here like this. Be right there. And so it appears that let's see. We're looking right here like this. Yep, for now. For now. I think this can come out completely. Yeah. Okay. It's a start. Let me see how I do with the hacksaw because I got the blade and I can use it on the Dremel, but man, it makes a lot of dust. The first thing, hey, really not going to be able to get to there. Well, it appears we're going to be cleaning up a lot of dust. <laughs> All right. And I think I got this blade on backwards. Yep, it's on backwards. <laughs> All right. All right, I sliced the hole in the dashboard. Too late to turn back now. <laughs> this can go in here. That is very tight, which is fine. You can always cut more, but you can't put it back. A lot of cutting and fitting and fitting and cutting and cutting and fitting. And it's just what you have to do to make this thing fit in here.
uh, because it's not designed to go in here. But if you just work with it, you'll eventually get that hole cut the, dash the right size. That can be a bit of a pain because the screws go that way. So I couldn't just come up there. All right, there are 10 bolts. Yep, there is definitely a bolt there. And it's definitely a different size. And the one I'm missing. Maybe one of these Merkins will fit it. 930 seconds or whatever it is in metric, I think. No one forward it's 10 and a 930 second. <laughs> Why couldn't it have been the same thing as the other ones? There we go. Now it comes off. Ew, that is nasty, dirty, sticky, yuck. Ew. Ew. I <laughs> clean that mess up. Oh, that's nasty. Ew, it's on my fingers too. Ew. So this thing's got to be modified and repaired. Right here, we can repair it, but we're going to modify it first before we do anything. And I probably won't repair it this time, but we will get to it. But it definitely has All to right. be modified. Put these wires back in here for now. And that's what we got. So, we we'll go in there. I'm gonna have to knock this whole piece out. So I gotta make more of a mess. Oh well. All right. Probably have to knock this piece out too, but one side at a time. We gotta get the bezel to fit before we can do anything else. Shit, you get that out of there like that. Yeah, that's going. <clears throat> now, let's see. What do we have here? That goes in there. I'll mark this out. Now what I have to do is cut this across here. This has got to come off completely. I don't know where I might find metal, but we'll find out. Metal. That won't cut metal. But this will. All right, get all these power cords out of my way. All right, let's get rid of that, get rid of that. I'm gonna test it. All right, so now I'm gonna put this back up on here. Get it on right there, like that. Now we'll take our piece, which I've painted. And it's gonna go right there. Let's see. Mm hmm. It appears 
that these will bite into this foam, which will be perfect. So, now, that goes there. That goes there. I need to cut on the inside of this a little bit here. Just a little bit. Uh, you know what? That's got to go back further than that. It does. Let me see what's stopping me. Uh, let me cut this side out and see what we have. Pull that out of there. There is more metal in there, but that metal's going to be fine. It can stay right where it is. Pop this bad boy on here. Again. Get in the hole. There we go. That. And take another look. Alright. Come on, you. Why are you being difficult? Gotta come back on the top some more. Yep. This is just a matter of um, cut a little, cut a little, cut a little, because you don't want to cut too much at once. Yeah, I got to flap this gear. Basically, I want to shape this. I just cut this because it's got to be, matter of fact, it's got to be more. Got to cut it back further because it's got to be filled in anyway before we do anything with it. Right now, I'm just trying Those to get lines. everything to fit. So, well, no, I fixed this. Okay. It may fall out because it's just body putty, but for now, it's fine. I wouldn't go fix it at all. I need to do the whole thing in fiberglass. But, you know, this is going to go on here. Uh -huh. Push right in there all right so Let's see first answer is it's not wide enough probably not deep enough either That side looks like it's going to work. Now, let's see. This, again, right here. Just like that. This. is going to go right in there like that ha, I like it yeah one more tricky part you can actually mount that stereo make sure we mount it so that it's going to be right in the middle mm -hmm. um, meanwhile I could do that while this is drying all right this is the harness that comes with the truck all right we also have uh, come on now what well, we've added and that's subwoofer truck harness the antenna and this is the subwoofer connector now i'm not gonna fool with the backup camera right now but the backup camera is going to go on this side here um here's the harness um since the this doesn't have a subwoofer or backup camera harness that's why i added an extra plug right there so we can just plug that in and then you just plug it in and all you gotta do is get a kit and follow the directions pretty much color keyed and the whole thing and just put them together i solder and 
and shrink wrap all my wires. Y'all know that. But this is just going to now, this, this kit comes with this plug, which plugs into the OEM. And this plug that plugs into the OEM harness. And then you're set. But what we got to deal with right now isn't wires. That's all done. And with this particular radio, um, I had to get a splitter because it only has one subwoofer channel. I want two subwoofer channels because I got, so I got a splitter to hook in there. So let's see here. Now we want to, we got to install the stereo. It came with a couple different brackets. These are the ones I'm going to use. Give me one on either side of the radio like this and then they're going to mount here i think that's going to be all right there because everything's going to be tight and this adds strength to this yeah all right so the radio is in here there was a lot of wrangling and cutting and grinding and cutting the edges off and stuff, but I think she's right. Like I said, this has a single subwoofer output right there. So I got a cable, split cable. I'm going to plug this into subwoofer right there and then my pair of cables will come out here and we'll plug them in here now I've got full signal still back to the subwoofer which is what I want I don't want a half signal <laughs> all right OEM cables I said he's going to connect right up just like that. They, they're keyed so they only go one way. And that one's in. And bring the gray one up here. And this was a kit. It's, I used the one that was already in the truck. But it's the same kit that you buy all the time. It goes in there. These don't get hooked to anything. They're for options that the truck don't have. Or will probably be aftermarket. All right, this subwoofer terminal, and it's also going to be the um, backup camera. But for now, it's just the subwoofer terminal. Plug that in. I gave that a extra plug. Okay. And the whole thing here plugs in to here. That harness. Right there, like that. And we're putting it in upside down. And we don't have any antenna lead. Where's our antenna? Where's our antenna? There we go. Plug the antenna in. There, like that. I think I got these brackets where I want them. Yeah, Nick the darn thing. Afraid it's gonna do that. I'm calling that it. Put the screw in it. Wait for it to boot up. There we go. Radio.
And it works. Now I didn't leave it on anything because I didn't want YouTube busting me for copyright infringement. There's a whole lot of stuff this radio does, but as long as it's on, I'm happy and it's in. So at this point, it's actually been in for a couple weeks. I wanted to go to Ocean City with it. Um, unfortunately, it cracked there. I sort of half-ass fixed it just so I could go to Ocean City with it. The side seemed to hang out okay. Um, I'm gonna have to take a bezel off. Gonna have to do a little more fiberglass work. Still gonna fiberglass that so that this becomes one piece. Um, I've had this dash pad off here. I don't know how many times I'm gonna take it off again. You see, the, that's the microphone jack. Um, I, uh, yep, I keep having to take this thing apart and take the radio out because I forgot, keep forgetting to plug things in. So, um, okay. This is the backup camera. All right, let's pull this off here. So, yep, that cracked good. That's uh, a whole bunch of, what do you call it, uh, Bondo. So what I'll do is sand this down. Matter of fact, we're going to take it way down. And we'll sand this down here. And we'll fiberglass this. And then it'll be done. It won't crack again. It is what it is. But it turned out pretty good. Looks like heck right here, but you don't see this once this is on. And I actually have to modify this a little bit more too. It has to come back a little further. All right, let me put this aside. This plugs into the mic right here on the back. Plug it right in there. There. Now that wire is not hanging. Let's put in the reverse camera. Should be the last thing. Now this is the camera here. They love this. It's all packed in an anti-static bag to make sure that nothing happens to it before you put it under the car and all the weather hits it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this here, that's the camera itself. I'm going to take that off a little after I get it mounted. And it plugs into these two here. Basically standard camera. Reverse camera. Actually, there's a Tato on it. Big deal, right? And this is the cables. All right, let's see what we got here. This has to run from the back of the truck to the front of the truck, or if it's a car, back of the car to the front of the car. Same thing. So I figured this pink wire goes on where your reverse light it goes in with your with your reverse light, your, your 12 volt positive. Let's see. So let's see if the uh, logic prevails or not. This one here this is just a ground, so that's fine. That's a chassis ground, so then we ground this. And this is what tells the stereo to turn on the reverse camera. When your reverse light comes on, it powers this wire. When this wire is powered, the stereo senses the power on it and turns on your reverse light, I mean reverse camera. And that's just, like I said, a ground. And these just plug into these plug into these here. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see now. Let's 
Take a look at this wiring. So, it looks like they gave you more than enough wires. All right, the red one goes on the switched wire, so I still got some more wiring to do. I'm gonna be lazy, I'm gonna put vampire chaps on. You know I never do that, but wow, I did something smart. I did something smart. Every now and then I get lucky. Um, I put this plug in here, so you can remove the whole thing. That's the pink wire that connects to this wire, and it's all on a plug right here, so if I have to take stereo, I can just take the whole damn plug out. Sweet. And I still got to connect this to this here. Yep. Ah, I guess before we do any of that, I got to get this thing installed. I got a wire here that I could do a crew cab long bed. I think I could do a freaking motor home. Okay, I'm not complaining because usually they don't give you enough. At least I got enough. Okay, so I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to put these vampire taps in. I just don't feel like turning that soldering gun again. Oi, whatever. You do nothing. Got it all hooked up. Let's see if reverse camera comes on. Let me take it out of reverse. Turn it on. Let it boot up. I'm going to turn the volume all the way down. And that's our Tato. That's a mute right there. Hit that, that should mute it. Now we won't have any music. There was nothing. Ha 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 ha! We got a backup camera! How cool is that? Whereas I gotta finish installing it and then we can line things up and all. Oh, that is really cool. So the truck moves one further forward. Then you take it out of gear, put it in a different gear, nothing. Bring it over here, put it back in reverse, and you got a backup camera. How sweet. All right. Now let me finish. Just put some screws in it so it stays where we put it. Okay. Pros and cons. There's things I like, things I don't like about this radio. Um, they have it in their update. Now, this radio is... The operating system on it is a Linux operating system. It's not the Android operating system. So what you cannot do with this radio is you cannot go to the Play Store and download programs to the radio like uh, um, like launchers and stuff. Now, if you don't know what a launcher is, launcher is basically just the, the, like skins. Of, it makes the radio look different. Um, I want that. That's available on the S8 um second gen they have a couple versions of the s8 second gen they got the s8 second gen and they have the s8 second gen ultra now, i don't see any reason for that ultra because basically the only thing you get over the s8 on the ultra is you get um a place you can get a sim card a data sim card and put it in the radio and then the radio has uh internet over the way but then you got to pay another fee to somebody to have you know 5g 4g whatever the heck it is data a month I, so you know i don't see that uh i'm going to get the s8 premium without that and it's a little less expensive too because you know the the other one is uh, the one with the that you can put the data in is really expensive the difference is you can you can use like Google Maps and stuff like that without having your phone connected. But why would you not have your phone connected? Uh, I mean, I, I just don't understand that. So I, I don't see it being worth money to me. I'm not going to do that because the phone's always connected. Now, what I do like about it is that um, it does have Android Auto and it is wireless. It connects right to your phone. So you have your maps. This is Google Maps, and you can put, you can use Waze too if you want. And I have my music here, which this is, it, it'll play just about any kind of music, streaming or music right off your phone. I have uh, YouTube music, 
And I really like it, by the way. It's really awesome. It's it's coming up with songs I forgot that I really liked. And it just pops on. I'm like, how the heck does it know this? But anyway, it does. Um, let's see. Hopefully, this won't kill the uh, phone. Here's your apps. So you can use, there's maps. If you go up, there's ways. You can use ways. Um, and these are the apps that you can use. Of course, your telephone, you know, wireless. I, I, I'm not going to get into that because everybody knows about it. You know, it's just, there's the microphone and it, 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 that picks up your voice and the sound comes to the speaker, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know how that works. Do this here. Then I got, that's just my music right there. And I see my YouTube music. If hit this, I can thumbs up or thumbs down the song if I want to. Um, and then I go back. How do I go back? I do this here. And that's not what I want to do either. Okay. Hit that YouTube music. And that puts me back there. Click that. And click that. And then this is this is your split screen here. See that that's got a split screen. If you do this, then I got just that. I click on it again. I'm back to my split screen. If I don't want that, there's my player. Oh, my maps. There's my maps without anything else. And I can use, I can hit this here and say, you know, hey, Google, blah, 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 blah. It'll uh, take me wherever. The only other thing is when it starts up and it, and it boots up, it has that Atado name that comes across there, and that's fine. But in the other versions of this, you can change that. You can make that. You, you, it's got all kinds of car manufacturers in there, the Fords and the Chevys and the, all the foreign junk. And uh, you can put um, whatever your car is on there. Instead of saying a Tato, it'll say, well, like on this, it would say Ford. I think on the other version, I can also add a logo if I want to, which if that's so, of course, it's going to be the Ain't Scared logo is what's going to come up. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I think it's a really good radio for the price. I, I, it wasn't much money. It was, was it $200 or something like that? It might not even been that. But, um, and it does all that stuff. I mean, those few little things extra that I said, those are the only things it doesn't do. They're things I wanted to do. So, and I'm, I'm kind of funny about the truck. Uh, I want the truck to be, I want it to have everything that a new vehicle has. And now it has one more thing. It's got Android Auto. It's got a touch screen. It's a doubled in. It looks like it was supposed to be there. It looks like Ford put it in. And it's got a backup camera. Remember, this truck didn't have anything. It was bone stock. It's got power windows, power door locks, and Upgraded interior. It had a rubber mat. It's got nice floor, nice carpet in it now. And uh, yeah, and a chain drive shifter. <laughs> if you're enjoying this kind of stuff, uh, do me a favor, hit the like button. You know, it don't cost you nothing. It really helps the channel out. Just give me, a, give me a quick little like down there. And if, like I say, if you like this kind of stuff and you want to see more, you know, check out this video right here. You, you might like that one. Till next time. Ugh.